Okay, I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about my background. So I uh, studied photography in the early 2000s at Napier University. And then since then, I've been working on personal projects, on commissions. I've done artist residencies. I'm from India originally, and I grew up between India, Ireland, and the Middle East till I was 11. And then I moved to England uh, and then moved up to Scotland 17 years ago. So um, in my photography, I like to explore South Asian diaspora, the experiences of um, what it's like to be displaced and sort of floating between various cultures, the idea of home, the notion of belonging. So I did this project uh, when I graduated back in 2006. Uh, this project's called Vasantritu, and um, I don't know how familiar everyone is with uh, Ragmala miniature Mughal paintings. I kind of reference those paintings, but I photograph uh, different generation Asian women that live in Scotland. So these are portraits all made uh, in Edinburgh and Glasgow, and they are of different generation Muslim, Sikh, Hindu women. These uh, were shot on film, large format 5.4 camera. So those cameras where you put black sheets over your head and sort of hide behind the camera. Most of the time when you're shooting on 5.4, if you're a student, you can only really take three to four frames, afford to. So one of the great things I think is it makes you very disciplined and it makes you think about everything really carefully because you can't mess up. If you're shooting with digital, I think you can shoot hundreds and you're like, oh, I'll Photoshop that, I'll crop that. But when you're shooting on film, you, you've got four frames only to get it right. So you're gonna make sure your lighting, your framing, the expression, everything's good. I'm gonna jump to another project uh, called Ghar. This project was all about when I, uh, yeah, when I moved to Edinburgh, I noticed there was a big Asian community and I was like, I don't know these families. I want to know more about them, more about their journeys. So um, I sort of usually rock up at Hindu temples and just stand with my card. And I still do that now. I think the best way to find participants, you just show up and they get to know you. And then that's how you kind of build that rapport and relationships. I decided that I would ask these families about their journeys to Scotland. And what I found uh, in the images was these, these sort of morals and family values were rooted in Hindu mythology. So I kind of wanted to retell these stories of Hindu myths through contemporary Asians. And so that's what the, the sort of project was about. My shoots usually take around an hour and then I'll go process my film and realize I, when the flashes wasn't working and have to go back. But it's just like a learning, learning curve. But it's, it's great shooting on film um, just because it slows you down very much and it lets you connect with your subjects. And I think sometimes uh, with digital photography, the dynamic changes because the image is there. So the person you're photographing wants to see the image, you see the image, it's, which is good sometimes if you're doing a commercial job for a paper. For my own practice, I think I just like to trust the process, the energies between me and who I'm photographing and there's nothing else distracting that. And I love that and I get excited going to a dark room and processing the image. I think nowadays with young people, the way they connect with photography, it's very different and very instant. And in a way, it's good because everyone sort of interacts visually with making images. But the appreciation for portraiture and photography in different genres, I think, I think yeah, for them to appreciate it more, like they need to appreciate it more because it's so easy to take an image. That's why I think looking at photographers that are quite established that look at paintings and making the connection between paintings and images. I did a workshop a couple of years ago with young people where we got them to look at Rembrandt paintings um, and make a series of images inspired by the lighting of Rembrandt images. So in a way, instead of them just having to look at the paintings, they were looking at the colors, at the way the light was being used, and then they were applying that to the images they were making. And so that could you know, be an interesting way to get them to engage with paintings and just make the link, because I think they see it as two very different things, and they're not, because a lot of great portraiture photographers draw from paintings. Um, this, for this project, I decided I wanted to shoot with natural light. I would go to their house, rearrange all their furniture, make sure it's near a window, and then take the image. So I think sometimes for students, it's always really nice if you have artist talks, talk about the actual process of taking the image, because it's not a five minute, you go in, you take a photograph. It's two, three hours, you go in, you set up. Sometimes you clean the flat. I've cleaned flats before. Um, you take things off the wall, but it's thinking about all these things. I think that's really important when you find out the actual process uh, an artist goes through to make an image, which looks like 
a snap, a really nice stylized snap, but essentially a snap. But actually, there's, there's a whole process that goes with it. And after it, when the film gets processed and scanned and printed by a master printer and all that, there's all these different stages um, and different roles that a photographer can have or other people would uh, be part of a team that would help with. 